Here we go. Oh no, not to the side! Damn it, Jim. Francis, hold tight. I can't. This is a plane. It's sinking. Driver, punch it. Go. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, we've got a little bit of a problem here. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go do the end of the road. Find your way to the well. I'm assuming at this point this, that this will be our last episode, but I don't know. Uh, maybe there's more after the end of the road, uh, or maybe it will be long enough to warrant... Oh, shoot. I was supposed to put these in here. Uh, warrant a couple more episodes. I guess we will find out. Rats. I wish I would have kept those in there, but that's right. They will, um, um, they'll repair when we get back from this mission. This woman, she doesn't know what she created, but whoever does, we can't control how our inventions are used. Right. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's, uh, let's just do this without further ado. I think I got the car all ready. I got it uh, re all repaired back up, and I had one, um... Yeah, I put extra putty kits in here because I don't have enough uh, marsh eggs to make another torch, but we, we do have one full torch there as well. So I think we have everything we need. Um, I did have one quirk with the steering wheel and the doors and kind of weird things, so I fixed that. Um, and yeah, so let's give this a try and see what happens. Uh, they want us to go all the way to R2 here. Um, all right, so I'm not really interested in stopping and gathering resources and all that sort of thing. Um, so, what, but we, what we are going to have to do, hmm. okay, so we could highway to here, but then we'd have one, two, three jumps to get there from the end of the highway zone. Or we could, that's the only place we can highway directly from our base um, and this one goes still to the same spot so yeah it looks like that's that's what we need to do okay let's do this see what happens see how this crazy crazy adventure ends off we go I don't even know if we'll be coming back to the gay garage or not Now, you know, the whole thing, or I guess an important aspect about this game is that the remnant, which is our car, is supposed to kind of like take over us and we become obsessed with it. And that hasn't really played out in the game as far as the game scripting itself goes. I mean, you could make an argument that... Um, that you, uh, you know, that the player becomes obsessed with the car because the car is cool and you want to upgrade it and make it better. And that is true from that standpoint. But I mean, it's not really in the game itself. I mean, the driver, you, you know, there, there's never, not really any thing that makes it so that this car has taken over my mind or, or anything like that. So I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm a little bit disappointed, I guess, that there isn't more of that kind of thing going on in the game. I mean, they should have built stuff into the game to where, you know, maybe we start hallucinating more. I suppose you could maybe say that the quirks uh, on the car are sort of kind of like that, but yeah, I don't know. It, it just, it there, there's never been any point in time in the game or the game scripting that this car has taken over the character, um, which is what it's supposed to be doing. I mean, it's supposed to, we're supposed to be so obsessed with it that it's drawing us to the well. Um, but, you know, we're going there of our own volition. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Something uh, maybe that they need to work on a little bit, perhaps. And I'm not knocking the game. I mean, I've thoroughly enjoyed playing this game. It's just there's something about it that has uh, really scratched an itch, so to speak. 
you know, the combination of driving and a little bit of auto mechanic stuff going on uh, with survival and, you know, even horror uh, to, to a bit of an extent. Um, it, it's just really worked well overall. It, but in terms of, you know, being taken over by the remnant, that part of it hasn't, I don't think they delivered on that part. Um, so it's, that's just my two cents. But I would recommend the game. Um, very much enjoyed it. Don't know if they would ever, you know, make a sequel to this game. But if they did, I'd uh, definitely be interested in in playing it. Um, but, you know, in terms of replayability, I don't know, uh, at least to me, there's not a whole lot of replayability with this game because, when you, you know, you're going to kind of just go and do the same thing again if you play it over. Now, you might want to just do it over again to try different components on the car um, you know and the fact that these places are procedurally generated but you know at the end of the day they're all kind of more or less going to be the same so it just to me doesn't seem to have a lot of replayability but definitely worth you know playing through for at least the first time and we'll see what happens in the future in terms of potentially a sequel or whatever so those you know I'm just kind of sharing some of my uh my uh, feelings and 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 a little bit of a oh, little bit of an assessment about the the game and my experience with it. Uh, overall, definitely has been a good experience. I'm not going to deny that. Some of the things I talked about in the in the previous episode with the car itself. I mean, we have a we have an over 300 horsepower engine in this thing. We can only go 80 miles an hour. That's that doesn't seem right to me, you know. The acceleration is not really any better than the lower engines that I can tell. Not significantly better. Um, <coughs> the sound of this really beefy engine is too too muted. You know, actually, I was going to look at something in regards to that. Do I have something turned down with sound effects? No, see, I got I have sound effects all the way up. So yeah, that's. I think the engine should be a little louder than it is, especially this big beefy thing. Um, so, you know, again, I'm not intending to to nitpick on the game. I am nitpicking on certain things I don't like about it, but um, overall, still, again, very good game. And uh, if you're on the fence about trying it, you know, give it a try. I'm not sure how much it is on Steam. I, I don't remember. I don't think it's super expensive. Train uh, Station Town Center. Alright. So we basically just need to go here and turn left and then we're out again. I think we're going to do that. I'm not even going to bother trying to grab anchor power. Because here again, the game is, the game is leading me to believe that I'm not coming back. Um, could be wrong about that. We'll see. Okay, so we are here. We're going to have to go through A7 and A1 to get to R2. At least it's a perpetual stability zone. Um, if we actually did need to get out of there, we would need 5 KLM to get out. So, yeah, there is that. Um, light ambient radiation. There is no time. A fair amount of... <coughs> anchor power so I don't know maybe we will if, if the anchor power is really close by maybe we'll grab it just in case I don't know what to expect because of course I haven't watched anybody else play the game this far so this is all new new territory for me uh, here let's get out of the hot dust for a second well, we do. We have lots of anchor power all along the road, so I suppose we'll stop and grab it. I 
I knew that bubble. Oh, shit. I knew that bubble gum was going to grab us. Here again, probably not necessary, but let's grab some explosives. Those seems, things are probably one of the more difficult resources to find in any quantity. There's some Olympium right there. Should we go grab it? Since it's just right here, you know. Guess that's it. Storm's coming from our right-hand side. But we should have enough time to grab the rest of the anchors. Inside it. Mark it just so it's marked. Guess we could have pulled a little closer, but that's right. See more Olympium right over there. Oh, I shouldn't have left my lights on. I think we have time to grab that Olympium. Again, this may be completely pointless. So I just have no idea. So we're going to assume that there's a possibility that there's more to the game after this, though I doubt it. I mean, end of the road, you know, that's kind of a hint. <laughs> but we'll see. We shall see. Um, can I just mostly back straight out of here? Yeah. Okay. How's the storm? Uh, the the really bad storm is not not in bad shape right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave the car running. So we just skedaddle. Nice. That's right. We got to remember we got that anti grab thing if we need it. Okay. Let's go this way. Nope. Not, not today, man. Not gonna happen. Okay, we need to go. We need to go left. Okay, we're gonna f we're gonna leave those other. Eh, well, should we? 
Yeah, the answer is yeah, we should. Because we only have 2.1 Kalim. What direction is that other storm heading? Yeah, if we can... If we can get through here, we can probably get to those other anchors. Just gonna be right down here. Okay, let's grab this one first. And then the other one is just straight ahead of us. Over there. Oops. I wonder if those guys are going to try and grab us. going to. Okay, so we need to go left to get on that road and then turn right at the junction. way. Yep. All right, we got this. Uh, we have 4.6 Kalim, so even a, one more small anchor would give us enough to, to open a gateway back home if indeed, like I said, we end up needing to do that at the end of all of this. Which, again, I'm not expecting that. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but we'll see. Lights off. It's not too terribly dark. We'll save our battery a bit. Not that it's in that bad of shape. Okay, we are out and uh, very, very minimal car damage. This has a decent amount of anchors, but almost no time. Intense. Radiation, magnified explosions, and swift storm. Okay, let's do it. All right, we just have one straight road to get all the way through. And uh, I don't think I'm going to even bother with... Uh, yeah, see, none of... All but that, maybe this little tiny one really far off the road. So maybe we'll grab that one just to get up to five. I think that should be enough to get us up to five. You know, if we did actually go back to the base after this, what I need the most, believe it or not, is stable power. Because I, I use quite a bit of that to... Um, you know, uh, on the um, the guesses for the who's the was it, the quirk machine thingy. I'm just gonna pick those up right now. All right, 
Is that everything? I think so. Let me make sure something didn't clip into the thing. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. right back out onto the road there. A storm coming already? I didn't even remember hearing it. The the clacks on. I didn't remember hearing it go off. I'm trying to swerve to avoid that bunny as much as I can. There's the clacks on. Huh, that's weird. Miss sucker. Yeah, we have 5k limb now, so we could open a gate to get back if we need to. I'm not going after any more anchors now. Let's just go. Yeah, I know, there was an explosive box there, but forget it. Oh, yowzers. <laughs> we just about hit him. Held the road go. Totally got thrown off track there. There it is. This may very well be our last drive, ladies and gentlemen. Stop for a second. Uh, lights are off. And we'll just give the car a quick uh, touch up. It's in pretty good shape overall. Oh, okay. The limb shield is got a permanent status effect now, so. That will be replaced if we go back home. Headlights. Um. Oh, right, gas. How are we doing on gas? Uh, right here. Come on. It won't select the, f the frickin' gas thingy. Alright, here, let's do this. There we go. Let's get her topped off. I think we're in great shape. Here we go. Well, there's lots of uh, anchor power here and even a little bit of time before the storm. Hm. The well. We'll all be well when we get to the well. If not, oh well. <laughs> I killed. Okay. This is really it, huh? 
the end of the road. Soon we'll finally see for ourselves what caused the mass hallucination and what Tobias and Alan died for. And whether it was all worth it. Ooh, look at the well. Francis. Dang, dude. Yeah? Check that Thank thing out. Thank you for trusting me when you had every reason not to. Getting to this point together with you, it makes me feel like my old self again. Listen to Oppie. It's been an honor to watch you work, Dr. Turner. Whoa. Here. Hold on. These gamma readings, are they real? I, I can't even begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir, a massive fission reaction, or a, a portal. Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. If what, this thing really what if it really is? Atlantis, I'm turning in my PhD. God, if only Tobias were here to see it. What if it does throw like us through a portal and that's the next this. game? Hmm. For once. Now that could be cool. Remember, I don't know what's going to happen here, you guys. I'm completely clueless. Now that would be cool. That And if... If I were the devs, that's what I would do, so that way, you know, you can do a new game. I don't know about Atlantis, but maybe a portal to... I don't know, an alternate universe? An alternate Earth? A new Olympic Peninsula? I don't know. The possibilities are endless. All right, driver. You're almost to the threshold. Oh, that's Remember, crazy. Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever what? state you find yourself in, the Octavice will be your safety net. Okay. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Oh, you want me to you get back driver. to you? Oh, wow, it's look at this. Opening. Godspeed, driver. Oh, this is intense. Game over. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Hoppy! Hoppy! Did it work? What's the energy output? Damn it, Alan, I'm fine. Uh, uh, light nearly blinded me. C can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, let me see. Five... 500 kilojoules? Hoppy, what is this? The future, I call it Limb Waves. Whoa, what a trip. These remind me of Fallout. Limb Waves. Cool. Okay. Coffee delivery. Uh, Alan, gosh. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving on. I was thinking, how oh, about by Christmas? Yes, maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Uh, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Lentech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Fairness isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children. And I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good. Because I'd love to have eight. Eight? <laughs> Then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you. Aw. Ooh. That was weird. Okay. Am I supposed to be running? Maybe I'm supposed to be running. I don't know. I don't have my toolbar or anything anymore. This is so bizarre, man. Oh, another jump. 
Here we go. Oh, different floor. Tobias, the movers are here. Wait, why aren't you packed? I ain't going. The evacuation orders. Can... Evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating. The ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm gonna stay and chase down these stories. Wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. With me. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, another jump. You here to vote? I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist's scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay and work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah. I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. Oh, Francis. Oh, yeah. Francis' last name is Cook. That's right. Okay. Driver, driver, do you read me? Driver, you passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy expulsion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. How do I do that? Hey, look, the gang's back together. Tobias? I, um, uh, I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone with me. These years, <laughs> best of my life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings. <laughs> Not a single moment wasted. Thank you. It's all right, everything. That's nice, Tobias. It's all you. You made me feel capable. That anything was possible. That I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my happiness was thanks to you. And I'm afraid... I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Hey, Appy. Alan sends his regards. Hey, he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> I don't know what advice is that. Driver. Is that a gun on your dash? Yeah, it sure is. Oh, I'll be damned. Bye. Until next time. Tobias? Tobias! Driver, if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. Okay, I'm trying. I wonder what the significance is of all of these televisions. Whoa! What's over here? Oh, it's the pathway we walked. Look at all the TVs over there. Just kind of goes down into an abyss or something. That is so bizarre. Okay. Well, here's our car. It hasn't done any remnant stuff to us yet. Except for that's kind of weird. Maybe it's going to do remnant stuff to us now. Whoa! Is that like a... Th what is that thing? It looks like a... A ginormous space creature with tentacles and a big red eye. Or maybe I'm just having an overactive imagination. Wouldn't put a pass it for this game though. Not just a little longer. Hold steady, Francis. Keep those limb bases aligned. Not even a point zero zero one deviation. You get me? Oh, my yowzers! Okay. No deviations, Francis. Woohoo!
Um, I forgot to activate my gravity thing, but at least I activated my physical thing. Uh, we're going that way. Okay, I gotta press F if we get. Oh shit! Here we go! Oh no, not to the side! Damn it, Jim! Uh, I'm trying, uh, we've got a little bit of a problem here. Here. Wait, no, 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 here, right here. Scan for, okay, there we go. Why well, won't it let, there we go. Jeez, oh, please, come here. <laughs> okay, punch it. Let's go. That was intense. It was really hard for me to keep the car moving straight and on four wheels going down all that stuff. Hey, we're back at the garage. Look at that. Wow. I didn't think we were going to make it back here. You made it back, driver. All in one piece, it looks like. And no sign of the Remnant's energy signature anywhere in that car. Well, that doesn't matter because it didn't do shit anyway. It's linked to you. Fascinating. You'll never know how far the Remnant's obsessions wormed into your head, but you should be safe from it getting any worse. In theory. <laughs> In theory. Bobby, I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry. I, I mean, um... <laughs> Don't worry. It was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. <laughs> you heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? <sighs> that your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those <laughs> moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the Remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't bother telling me. <clears throat> I'm leaving the zone. Oh. I'm sorry, what? Alan came to tell me goodbye. And that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. Oh, okay. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the Zone to tell. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Uh, wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. If I stick around. Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Abby? Uh, Abby? Really? Well, I, um... Uh, driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me, Abby was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no oppy, but I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car, but it stayed with you. 
and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive, I'm along for the ride. And that is it. All right, cool. So I guess uh, at this point, you know, you're kind of just in, like, free mode, and you can continue driving around and doing stuff, but I don't think I'll do that because... Um, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I did enjoy the game, though. I really did. Um, like I said, the probably the biggest disappointment, and and again, I'm not to the point where I don't think the game's any good. I think it is good and it's worth playing. But there was no actual remnant um, interacting with with the driver, with the character of the driver. There just wasn't. I mean, nothing happened. Um, to make you think that, you know, th that this remnant's taking you over like they said it was going to. So I think they kind of cheapened that a little bit, uh, considering that was supposed to be such a huge part of of this game, you know? Um, I want to look at something. Jeff Wong. See, I thought Tobias Barlow and Alan Turner was the same voice, but I guess it wasn't. They sounded very similar. Um, it's just that... Uh, Alan's voice had a little bit less um, Brooklyn accent to it, you know. Um, you know, but again, that's not a that's not um, a, uh, a a a major bad thing. But I think it's probably the most glaring issue with this game, if you ask me, at least in terms of the story. And I've already talked about you know the um, more of the game mechanic things, like the engine not being as fast as it should and not sounding as cool and things like that. But you know, overall, really fun game. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it uh, to anybody that's still thinking about whether or not they want to play it. And uh, who knows? Maybe they'll come out with a a Pacific Drive 2 or, or some sequel to the game at some point. So with that being said, that is it for the series, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this series as much as I did. Not sure what's going to happen next, uh, but I got a couple games in mind, um, and I'm just kind of, you know, pondering that. But we will definitely be coming out with another single-player series here very quick. And with that being said, I bid you all farewell. Bye-bye.